Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath, you're watching Sampath Sanfix YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 Pro custom ROM review. Here I have with superior OS version, you can see 13. It's a Gapps version. You also get a vanilla build, but I recommend to use the Gapps, the same build. And Android version is 13 year. You can see the 5th July 2023 is the security patch and build date is July 16th latest it is and the kernel used here is 4.14.190 arrow kernel has been used and the ceiling status is enforcing here. This is how the typical home screen you get here and there's a quick settings panel all the toggles are working fine you also get a sync option here location and mic and camera axis and you also get some of the other or toggles you can see on the screen this is how it looks and this is typical app drawer you get and minus one screen you get a google pane there and quick settings panel i haven't faced any lag or anything like that edit section is there app active section is here and the pill length i'll tell within a while and the settings panel you can directly move from here and there is even a power button and there is even an advanced restart button and you also get a gallery here pre-installed i have some of the screenshots will be showing that yeah will be showing first thing this one you can see charging rapidly full in one hour and later certain time it will show full in 24 minutes 60 percent i mean it's around a hour you can charge using the 33 watt charger which is supported in this superior os 13 rom and this is the Geekbench score what I got in this particular ROM. 1029 is the single score and 2966 is the multi score. And Linux 4.14.190 Arrow S kernel has been used in this particular ROM. Android 13 is the version here. And I want to show the benchmark results. Like, and this is a CPU throttling test, 100 thread test, guys. You can see maximum I got 267 and average is 3, 220 minimum is 174 and it's throttled to 70 percent of its max performance at a certain time it gets throttled but in day-to-day -day performance i haven't faced any such issues it's really really good the rom is optimized very well i also show you the bgma gameplay stay tuned till the end of the video and if you first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and this is the anti to benchmark results you can see three degrees has been raised during this entire testing of anti to benchmark in this superior os and four percentage of battery has been dropped the scores are around seven lakh six thousand six hundred and sixty three which is quite good in my opinion now the safety net status it will get passed obviously as you can see you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay whatever you want is those going to work fine even whatsapp is also going to work fine no problem regarding that and also you get a game space here if you want you can use that you can disable some of the options while playing the game you can add the game from here for example bgma you can add from here and DRM information again no need to worry you get a level one certified such that you can watch all the wood application in high definition resolution those things going to work fine and i use this me dual driver uh, 3.4 mm headphone jack here we are not going to get any dolby atmosphere but what i have showcased in the previous video the uh rising was that had a moto dolby atmos here simply missing but we get some more other options will be showing within a while before that this how the home screen and other settings you get a this kind of launcher here you can change some of the customizations here even home screen customizations are also given you can check out from here app drawer customization recent apps customizations are given and widgets you get plenty of widgets here i already kept one and wallpaper sun style again you get nothing here uh, the options are given the wallpaper colors and basic colors the combination of three colors and two colors those are still available themed icons app grid is given up to 16 to 6 is available here shortcuts if you want you can add them from here this is how simple and let's move into the dialer and see yeah you will get a direct to the call feature but i am having the bsnl sim hence it's not showing it is simply not available and even call recording option is there here let me try to dial some other number yeah 
that's how it is the dialer is fine here it's a little bit different than any other uh, google dialer it's not a google dialer that's how it is and camera application is a basic here just you can use it as simple things even video those things are fine if you want if you want any advanced settings like astrophotography and all you can use the uh, gcam ports and this is the pill because of the pill it's a little bit as you can see it's not going into the background apps this is a little bit difficult for me in this particular rom that i have noticed in this particular rom that's the one bug i can say let's move into the settings here you get a plenty of settings let's move into superior lab again status bar you get a plenty of customization here quick settings again there are some customizations uh, buttons again you get options here navigation bar let me go into here and show you the gesture navigation there is an option to increase the pill length but this area you can see you can do pill radius they would have been given but still you can see i can't go back from here that's the bug i try to change many of the settings but still i can't make it out i don't know what's the problem gestures again you get these kind of options lock screen and power menu themes these are the customizations you get notifications in miscellaneous you need to enable these two if you want to get a unlimited high fps in games like bgmi pubg mobile or pubg newsuit you need to enable that unlimited photo storage in a google photos if you want that you can enable from here you can see here simply i can't go back here this is a bug i have noticed even this i can't move into previous app this is really irritating they would have been fixed in order to go that you can change it to three button navigation now i can go to home screen but if i keep it guess navigation yeah now it is working fine see there is a bug in the ui they need to fix in the upcoming builds other than that i haven't faced any issue this is really good rom sound and vibration again you get a direct sound enhancer as i said before using 3.5 mm headphone jack i just enable this hi-fi the audio system was fine here not great or anything like but it's still fine vibration and haptics and so other media settings you can customize from here you can check out and battery again thermal profiles per app you can change from here going to back gesture is also a little bit uh, annoying here battery optimization is given per app you can choose battery temperature battery saver extreme battery saver is also given here no problem regarding those things moving into display accessibility menu yes it's available you can simply have a toggle and without actually accessing the volume buttons and without actually using the physical buttons you can access the volume from here in the display settings again you get dark theme option which is pitch black you need to enable this use black theme then it will be in pitch black as you can see everything will be in pitch black condition minimum refresh rate kept to 60 and here 120 you won't get the t45 options here which we have seen in the previous version tap to wake is given here these are the things the ui wise i really really like this rom but there is that bug previously what i shown currently it's not having that bug it's fine actually i really like the ui it's a little bit differentiating factor the ui is a little bit different here but not that much it all depends upon you guys if you want to use it as a delta driver go ahead and flash this rom and let's see how it handles in the bgm and what all the graphic settings you get after enabling it in miscellaneous settings this is how the graphic settings we get i have disappointed because smooth plus extreme is the only available option here uh, in previous versions of bgma we are getting that 90 fps it's still missing here this is the volume panel let's jump into boot camp and see i exactly can't say the how much fps is going around but i can say is it laggy or not based on that you can judge some of the gameplay i can uh, tell that let's see it's fine actually the gameplay no lag whatsoever as you can see but it if that would have been there the 90 fps then it would be better in my opinion what do you guys say about that let me know in the comment section guys No one dropped here. I am currently in low level, hence not that of a crowd here. Oh, 
hope so there is bot or a player near me let's see it's fine actually the gameplay is really good i didn't face any lag whatsoever we'll come back here that's how the gameplay in this superior race and everything is working fine in this rom and fingerprint unlock let me show you as you can see it's also working fine and let me show you the face unlock let's lock it yeah face unlock is also working fine this is how the superior is for uh, poco x3 pro why you are bhima the flashing method is given in the description check out it's even available in the short suite and there is a dedicated group for poco x3 pro from my channel you can join that and ask your queries there in the whatsapp group will be giving that link also in the description join that and even telegram group link is also given you can join there and ask your queries with your friends they can solve some of the options and they will get download links there easily you can access them this is how my review and me sampath signing off in this video will be meet you with another interesting video until that keep smelling bye bye for now